What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And on today's video guys, I will show you the most recent news that uh, is directly related to our case. I will show you an update uh, from Scott Trott and on top of that uh, I will show you quite interesting uh, point of view from uh, our headliners uh, in regards uh, to the most recent space call and uh, this space call is directly related to one of our recall lawsuits. On top of that I will show you that unfortunately we've lost uh, one petition it was a petition, uh, it was a steamroller petition against the OTC markets and I will uh, show you in details uh, what was the reason of this denial and uh, what uh, will be the next step uh, towards the resolution. And uh, before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section for whatever reasons uh, you want. And let's start with the Scott Trotter Twitter account. You know that Scott uh, is an extremely active person uh, in our community right now. He filed a lawsuit against uh, the wrongdoers and he issued several subpoenas one of them uh, was uh, delivered to uh, Gary Gensler and we have uh, to wait uh, for the result of these subpoenas and uh, I have to say that uh, he reposted a couple of tweets and uh, one tweet is related to the uh, recent uh, due diligence that was made by Marcus and I covered it in my previous video and he pointed to this uh, screenshot to the a uh, screenshot uh, of uh, the Patricia Casimates timeline. And guys, uh, this is quite interesting update, uh, but uh, I will uh, probably cover it uh, uh, in my upcoming video, because for today's video I have uh, even more news to cover. Next one. 13 hours ago he wrote uh, this in response to 100 MPH tweet, and 100 MPH wrote, was Patricia Casimates involved with any guidance as to how any of uh, Biden's shell companies and or investments were routed uh, in the financial system via ATS with foreign actors? And guys, this is quite interesting and important question. And uh, Scott Trott re responded, this is the $60 billion question. And uh, I have to say that uh, by using quite similar cases uh, and implementing them in our case, uh, we might uh, have uh, even more exposure on the wrongdoers and we might find another path uh, to the resolution. But guys, I want to show you, uh, let me pay your attention to this tweet. Uh, it was uh, published by Mark Basil just several hours ago. In response to the Anna Trades tweet that she filed, uh, she basically uh, wrote uh, 10 hours ago. Anna wrote, uh, MMTLP, I'm looking forward uh, to co-hosting this space tonight with Paul. And this space call uh, is uh, named Trade Station and FINRA Lawsuit Response uh, Discussion. And Mark wrote this, I spoke with Anna and agreed that now is the time for her to speak out uh, to the community. If you are interested in following the litigation, this space, thanks uh, to Paul T, should help you understand uh, that this case is a reflection of the entire community and its efforts over the last uh, 600 plus days to get answers. And guys, I didn't have enough time uh, to uh, listen to the entire space call, but uh, I found quite interesting uh, comment from Busy Brands. And Busy Brands wrote this just several hours ago. He said, even though Mark Basile did not call Mr. McCabe by name, I know exactly who he was referring to. The statement that Basile made uh, regarding McCabe is absolutely 1000% incorrect. I wasn't happy when he was texting me that uh, BS about two months ago and I'm not happy hearing today. Mark is an attorney and he could have uh, used the words in my opinion, because uh, that uh, all it is, his opinion. But uh, to blatantly and uh, manipulatively address the MTLP community and have them think that McCabe's uh, interests uh, do not align with the MTLP army is reckless and unprofessional. I've been in numerous Zoom calls uh, with Mr. McCabe and have spoken to him on several occasions. If I felt uh, that uh, his intentions did not align with the MGLP community, I would have addressed it uh, on a space call a long time ago. 
But because uh, the things I know and I'm involved in, I can uh, vouch for Ma Mr. McCabe. Still proven otherwise. I will continue to support Mr. McCabe uh, to bring a resolution to the MMTLP fiasco. So guys, I think uh, it is another quite uh, tricky situation inside our MMTLP community where we have uh, quite uh, uh, similar actors. One of them is Mark Basile and guys, do you remember who was uh, the opposite person uh, from Mark Basile's opinion? Definitely it was uh, Drew Diligence and Drew Diligence also wrote the tweet in regards to the same story. And by the way, take a look that uh, John Burda reposted it. And let me quote you this in detail. MTLP. Okay, people, please think critically. The same attorney who has said before that he felt really good about the Horasani petition, both the initial court and the appeal, which he lost at both levels. And the same attorney who said he felt really good about the steamroller case, which was dismissed today. And the same attorney who felt really good about going after Twitter, to discover someone's identity, case was also thrown out. He is now saying he feels really good about the intercoastal case, but also planted seeds that he will have to appeal. Now some of you want to panic, don't. The same attorney has consistently made accusations against shareholders, doxed one, blocked a ton more, and acted in a manner some viewed uh, so deplorable that even uh, Curtis, who is always trying to be a Switzerland, felt the need to call him out. He also comes out uh, and not only says that they are going to try to utilize the class uh, certification in the case against NBH, but the plans seeds uh, that Greg McCabe is not aligned with us. So much uh, so that uh, Gandalf, who also tried to be Switzerland, questioned it. And everyone wants to panic uh, some more. Don't. It's a very sly move to say that their case uh, potentially affects everyone and then withhold information from us or make uh, subtle implications uh, without elaborating. If you are talking actions uh, that could potentially affect everyone, anything short of uh, full disclosure to everyone is questionable and to me uh, wrecks of uh, due business. For God's sake, open your eyes. My guess is they know the S1 is coming too. They know what the writing on the wall says too. Don Burda and I cannot be only ones uh, that recognize what the writing on the wall says about NBH recent uh, actions and how those actions and their statements uh, coincide uh, with that with what FINRA stated in their correspondence with the company. I believe that they too see that NBH is working on a plan to resolve this and they want to do anything uh, to make uh, sure that their uh, payday stays, stays intact. Even if uh, that means uh, uh, planting seeds of doubt against the biggest shareholder who is also the CEO. Isn't what I said would happen all along. Don't lose uh, sleep over it, just be aware of it. And remember, until they defeat the arbitration clause, and I respectfully don't think they will, all of it uh, is just speculation and conjecture. Without uh, beating uh, the arbitration clause, they don't uh, get uh, to discovery. They set no precedent and the resolution is uh, binding only on the parties involved in the case. Guy is uh, 0 to 4 on everything LMTLP related. Chill out, uh, be I believe everything is gonna be okay. And guys, as you can see, he mentioned uh, John Burda and he even tucked him. And, uh, the and John Burda basically reposted this tweet. And I have to say that uh, because of this statement, uh, John Burda also thinks that uh, Next Bridge uh, is uh, working hard uh, and uh, they are trying to settle the problem with FINRA directly. And probably this might be uh, the case of uh, the silence of Greg McCabe, but I have to say that the entire, uh, this entire situation is some kind of uh, Santa Barbara TV series, because we have a lot of... Uh, things uh, to do in general and we have to fight against the wrongdoers but instead of this we are trying to find uh, some uh, unwilling persons uh, inside our community and let me show you uh, even more details in regards to this uh, uh, Bob next breach wrote this four hours ago Drew is against all legal action because he knows it leads to claims against his handlers 
And uh, you know that one of uh, quite uh, one of the quite popular opinions that due diligence was paid uh, by someone in order to promote uh, different stocks and potentially uh, MMTLP and uh, previously TRCH was uh, one of these stocks. But uh, this fact uh, should also be investigated and we cannot say it for sure. But at the same time, guys, take a look right here. Roman Soups uh, wrote this. Uh, come on, busy. Who is uh, in the MMTLP community besides Will Stewart and Junk Savvy think uh, it's good for McCabe to dilute shares at 10 to 18 cents a share and leave shareholders with just next breach and no way to get cash out in the Burda PW, POW camp? He also added this. Uh, maybe Mr. Busy Brands can tell us what Mr. McCabe thinks uh, is the resolution for shareholders. Has McCabe worked to get a QCIP code so shareholders can sell their worthless stock? Has he filed uh, any lawsuits uh, on their behalf? Has uh, he followed, uh, um, has he followed uh, up on his phone calls? When work? Playing, playing with the MMTLP community on Zoom calls doesn't count as work. And guys, definitely Mr. McCabe is, uh, um, is uh, extremely silent right now and I have to say that we didn't have any official statements from him personally and uh, this uh, raises some questions to his ability to solve this problem and uh, we have more and more time uh, uh, in uh, this saga but we still don't have any resolution from the side of uh, C-Levels executive of uh, Next Bridge and guys uh, let me show you again this uh, statement of uh, due diligence. Uh, so, Team Roller case uh, was dismissed today. He mentioned about this case. And let me show you some update in regards to this uh, uh, news. Uh, 11 hours ago, Jung Savi wrote, Judge denies Team Roller petition for the names uh, of the broker dealer and market ma uh, maker who listed MMTLP to trade in October of 2022. And guys, if you want to uh, read the entire uh, the entire document, uh, the entire decision, judge's decision, you can find it on Phoenix Tabloid. He reposted the tweet that was uh, written by Tony Denaro, and Tony wrote, without adding any editorial comment uh, of my own, everyone should slowly read this decision by the courts uh, on an MTLP claim. Whatever your opinion is, there are lessons in the court's order. And guys, uh, let me show you that uh, uh, Trader Zero made this tweet and uh, he basically made a summary and uh, several quotations out of uh, this uh, uh, document. Let me quote to this uh, in details. Once again, uh, this time with Steamroller versus, o versus OTC, the court shut down the claim. MTLP was listed illegally. It's uh, crystal clear OTC trading of stock without the consent uh, of the issuer is perfectly legal. Budget on the trade and budget by the attorney fees. And here is the direct speech, uh, uh, direct text from uh, the document itself. The petition fails to identify any material mis misrepresentation uh, by the broker or brokers who listed MMTLP for trading on which petitioner justifiably relied on purchasing shares of a security. Indeed, in the memorandum of law in support of the verified petition, the petitioner specifically claims that it relied on the public dis disclosure of uh, Torchlight Energy, the shareholders of which will receive uh, MTLP shares upon Torchlight's merger with Metamaterials. That disclosure stated that MTLP will not be listed or traded or any, uh, on any exchange and no market is expected to develop for MTLP in the foreseeable future and holders of MMTLP mean, may not be able to find a buyer and sell their shares if they desire to do so. So, based on the petitioner's own allegations, not only did petitioner not rely on any misrepresentation by the unidentified brokers, but it could also not have justifiably relied on Torchlight's public disclosure because it does not state that MMTLP would or could not be traded on an unsolicited basis in the over-the-counter market. Indeed, by stating that it might be difficult uh, for holders of MMTLP to find buyers for their share shares should they desire to sell them, it implicitly uh, recognized that the shares might be bought and sold. 
nor does petitioner allege any uh, particularized uh, damages resulting from a relevant misrepresentation by the broker or brokers and the petitioner's reliance thereon. Instead, petitioner, petitioner merely alleges that MMTLP share price was artificially depressed by rampant naked short from uh, $8.9 to uh, $2.895 per share or a loss of uh, $6.005 uh, per share between November 18th and December 8th of 2022. Moreover, as the trial court and uh, first department recognized in Khorasani, petitioner's allegations uh, are conclusory and unsupported. For example, nowhere does the petitioner identify why, how or under what law the trading of MMTLP without the issuer's approval made such trades illegal. Respondent, uh, respondent's deputy general counsel attests uh, uh, in uh, this affidavit uh, in a position that uh, contrary to petitional assertions, OTC link does not require that a broker dealer or issuer apply, seek to list or submit a form 211 for an over-the-counter security to be traded on OTC link on an unsolicited basis. Therefore, based on the above, the court finds consistent uh, with the trial courts uh, and the first department's uh, findings in Khorasani that the verified petition is an improper and fishing expedition. Denied. So, guys, unfortunately, we've lost uh, this uh, petition. It was the second petition that was filed by Mark Basile and his law firm. And uh, uh, basically, we lost both of them. And I have to say that we have only two uh, major lawsuits on the table. One of them is uh, the lawsuit, RICO lawsuit that was filed again by Mark Basile and his law firm. And the second one is uh, the RICO lawsuit that was filed by Scott Trott. Uh, both of them are extremely active. And uh, I have to admit that we have to wait, personally wait uh, for some kind of uh, additional information in regards to these cases. That is why, guys, for now, I have to say that uh, this entire uh, Santa Barbara TV series inside our community should be stopped, in my opinion. And uh, we have to uh, use, uh, we have to uh, try every possible way how we can see the resolution. That is why, guys, there is no wrong way in our case, because we are the first people who uh, are in this case and who want to solve the problem in general for the entire stock market that is why we have to unite and move forward and guys let me tell you my personal story i have a wife and two children aged 11 and 15 as well as a small dog after 30 years of living in russia near the Baikal lake we decided to move now we reside in serbia although i don't own any mmtlp shares I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack